Hey, y'all, what's going on, everybody? Y'all doing all right? I hope y'all are. Because we're going to be going over a New York-style cheesecake. But instead of using cream cheese, we're going to use Neuchatel cheese. Now, why are we using Neuchatel cheese? Have you heard of Neuchatel cheese before? I'll tell you it like this. It's healthier for you. It has a lesser fat content. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Now, I love cheesecake, and I know people love cheesecake. If you love cheesecake, you love it. If you hate it, you hate it. But we're not talking about the cheesecake haters now, are we? Okay, so try out Neuchatel cheese. It works out phenomenal. Like I said, it's healthier for you at the end of the day, and it tastes great. It is a wonderful substitute, and you can substitute it in equal parts. So if you want to use four blocks of cream cheese, you can use four blocks of Neuchatel cheese. I'm using two blocks of Neuchatel cheese because I'm going to be making two types of cheesecake. But in this video, we're going to be going over one type of cheesecake. We're going to be going over a turtle cheesecake, a turtle pecan or pecan turtle New York style cheesecake. All right. That's the goal. That's where we're heading to. And what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting back on ingredients at the end of it all, too. So I'm starting off with some powdered sugar here. You can use granulated sugar, but I like powdered sugar to be used in mine because it comes out smoother. And I used one egg, one egg in mine, and I didn't use any egg yolk. I could have used two eggs, but I used one. I used one cup of heavy cream. I used vanilla extract. I used the vanilla extract, maybe about a cap full. And I used sour cream too as well. I didn't use low fat sour cream because the catch is if you use too many low fat products, it could separate on you and it will not taste as good okay keep that in mind now i do have a mixer but i am doing this the old school way i thought about my grandmothers and i know they didn't have mixers like this so i said i'm gonna use my hands now i do know that they did have mixers eventually but they didn't always have a mixer and not everybody has a mixer so we have two blocks of new chattel cheese in it we have eight ounces of sour cream we have a cap full of vanilla extract in it and we have a cup of powdered sugar in it and we also have heavy cream inside of it one cup now this is going to be a process right You're like what is he doing i could put this in my mix so i have a mix so i could put it in but i said no i want to take my time go through the process and break this up and is it a process yes it's a process now if you leave your Neuchatel cheese out or if you leave your cream cheese out it'll be okay it'll be softer but you still would have to go through this process and I'm doing it by hand because I want people to understand you don't always need high-tech equipment to make what it is that you want to make I'm not gonna lie my hands did get tired I had to switch my hands back and forth so I would say I was whisking this for about a total of eight minutes back and forth back and forth a total of eight minutes i would say i was whisking this up it's worth it especially if you don't have the equipment and you want to try to make you a cheesecake go ahead use your whisk and get to whisk Take your time and get all the lumps out because you want it to be as smooth as it would be if you were using a mixer. That's the whole goal in this process. All right. Take your time.
if you've tried the Neufchatel cream cheese in a New York style cheesecake before or any cheesecake in that matter, drop a comment. You know, you can use granulated sugar in the cheesecake mix itself. You can use the granulated sugar in the crust itself too as well. I just choose to use the powdered sugar inside of the cheesecake mix, the cheesecake batter itself, because it, for me, it's smoother and I don't want that sugar to crystallize. Not saying it would because I use sugar in it, traditional granulated sugar as well, but I just prefer the powdered sugar in it because it comes out smooth, the texture is right, and I don't have that grainy sugar inside of this smooth batter. So you see how the consistency of the batter is becoming smooth, it's becoming whipped, and that's what we want it to be. All right, so now what I am putting inside of this is flour. Some people use cornstarch, I use flour. As you see, I incorporated pretty much all of the wet ingredients first, and then I incorporated my dry ingredients. However you decide to do it, whether you want to incorporate your wet, whether you want to incorporate your dry ingredients, do one first and then do the other. Don't go back and forth, back and forth. Incorporate one at a time. All right, we're getting somewhere now because I want my batter to be thick. I don't want a runny batter. So I use a half a cup of flour. Some people use cornstarch. I prefer to go ahead and use flour in this process. Cornstarch is great, but I prefer to use flour. If you want yours to be gluten-free as much as possible, then go ahead and use cornstarch because if you use cornstarch, then you are using a gluten-free product. Now we're gonna make turtle New York style cheesecake pecan turtle new york style cheesecake now i made some turtles before and this is the mix that i had left over from the pecan turtles so we have a graham cracker crust the graham cracker crust was sugar i used butter combined that together with some granulated sugar i didn't want any cinnamon in my crust the graham crackers already had cinnamon that was enough for me so bam, we're good to go. So as you see, I am dropping this caramel and pecan mix together and we have made us some turtle mix. And I mean, it is phenomenal. It's great. I try not to eat this mix by itself, but you know, it's hard to do, but that's a different story for a different day. But here we go with the cheesecake. You can see the crust. I have placed this pan in the oven with the crust put together. I did that for about uh, five minutes. After I molded the crust in the pan, I did that for about five minutes, pulled it out. The oven was set at 325. Now here we go. We are filling the dish. We're getting the New York style cheesecake filling inside there. Remember, we use Neufchatel cheese and it turned out great. Let me know what you think about the Neufchatel cheese in your cheesecake or if you've used it for any other purposes drop a comment let me know if you have any ideas for new chatel cheese let me know yes i am a chef i do this for a living but i am not too big to find out what ideals others have done i am not like that i am here to share my ideals and of course if you have suggestions or see something that you would like let me know so also, you see how the cheesecake is smooth. I had a cup of warm water that I kept my spatula in to rub around the cheesecake so we can have it smooth. And this is why it looks so smooth. You need a warm spatula, a warm whatever it is that you're using to smooth out your cheesecake. I let this cheesecake bake for about 45 minutes, almost an hour. So I'll say about 50 minutes at 325. And at that mark, about the 45 minute mark, I cut the oven off and I let it sit in the oven. So I said I let it bake for about 45 minutes and I let it sit in the oven for an additional five minutes to eight minutes. So it was in the oven for about 
52 minutes, somewhere around that time, 52 minutes to an hour. Let's just round it up to an hour. So it was 45 minutes cook time, and I left it in the oven with the oven cracked for about 8 to 10 minutes. All right? I don't want to say a whole hour because it wasn't. All right? And it could have been done there at about 45 minutes because when I opened the oven and I shook my cheesecake, it had just a slight jiggle just a slight jiggle and that was perfect for me and this is why i cracked the oven and i cut the oven off and i left it in there to finish doing whatever it needed to do because it gave me the time to go check on my son and make sure he was good to go cheesecake turned out phenomenal let me know what you all think about it now i could have used two eggs and an egg yolk but i chose not to i used one egg and it turned out great. Y'all have a good day. Good night. Or whatever it is where you are. I'll be coming with more videos soon. The next one I should be doing is strawberry cheesecake as well. Let you all know what that's like. Y'all have a good one. Be blessed and stay phenomenal.